This shocking insight by Dolores Cannon will change how you view life after death forever. Hello, curious souls. Imagine standing at the threshold of life's greatest mystery, where the veil between life and death whispers secrets of the unknown. Have you ever wondered what lies beyond this delicate curtain? Today, we invite you to join us as we embark on an exploration into this age-old enigma, unraveling the profound tapestry of existence that has captivated human curiosity through the ages. In our quest for understanding, we turn to the wisdom of Dolores Cannon, a master of past life regression and hypnotherapy known for her pioneering explorations into the afterlife and spiritual evolution. A remarkable journey through thousands of hypnotic regressions has unveiled startling revelations about the soul's journey, reincarnation, and the intricate webs that weave our cosmic existence. Dolores Cannon's contributions to this enigmatic field are not merely academic or theoretical. They are beacons of light, illuminating the path for those seeking to comprehend the deeper truths of our existence. Through her extensive research and explorations, she has pieced together a narrative that challenges our conventional views of life and death, urging us to look beyond the physical veil. As we embark on this journey of discovery, a central question emerges going through the corridors of time and space. What really happens after we die? Is death merely a cessation of physical existence, or is it a gateway to a new dimension of being? Does our consciousness continue, and if so, in what form? Join us as we dive into the profound teachings of Dora's canon, unraveling the mysteries of life after death. Before we immerse ourselves in this exploration, if you're intrigued by the mysteries of the afterlife, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more enlightening content. Share your thoughts in the comments below. We'd value your insights and contributions. Now, are you ready to journey into the mysteries that lie beyond the veil of life and death? Let's embark on this extraordinary quest together. Section 1. The Cycle of Reincarnation Let's break down Dolores Cannon's take on what happens after we kick the bucket. She's all about reincarnation, seeing it as a recurring journey of our souls. Picture it like a never-ending Netflix series, with each life being an episode in the grand saga of our spirits. According to Canon, reincarnation isn't just a one-time deal. It's a loop, a cycle of learning and growing. After each life, when we're chilling in the astral plane, that's like the VIP lounge for souls, we reflect on what we've learned. It's like a debrief session with a boss-level view of everything. And in this chill-out time, we plan our next move. This planning phase is like a cosmic strategy session. We decide the challenges we'll face, the relationships we'll dive into, and even how we'll bow out of our next life. It's not random. Each choice is a masterstroke in our soul's quest for progress. So if we choose a tough situation, it's because our soul wants to level up in empathy, or maybe we go for solitude to boost self-reliance. Even our relationships are part of the plan. They're like mirrors reflecting the lessons we need to learn or the changes we need to make. And when we exit each life, it's not just a random exit. It's like finishing a level and getting ready for the next one. So life on earth isn't just a random ride. It's a golden chance for spiritual growth. Each life is a lesson plan, offering a roller coaster of experiences, emotions, and relationships. It's like an otherworldly curriculum designed to amp up our understanding compassion and wisdom, the good, the bad, the wins and the losses. It's all part of a bigger picture, painting the story of our soul's evolution. Section two, past life regression, a journey through time. Now let's chat about Dolores Cannon's quantum healing hypnosis technique, QHHE. It's not your usual therapy. It's like a time traveling therapy machine. This technique dives deep into your subconscious accessing parts of your brain, usually on lockdown. So, how does it work? It guides you into a super deep trance, what Canon calls the somnambulistic state. It's like that magical moment right before you wake up or fall asleep. In this state, you can recall past lives with crazy detail. It's like pulling out memories and knowledge that your regular brain can't reach. What's wild is that Canon found consistent stories across different folks, no matter their background. Picture this. 
people talking about past lives in ancient civilizations or even on other planets. And it's not just history, it's life lessons like a cosmic curriculum. But here's the real magic. AKHT isn't just a stroll down memory lane, it's like a therapy superpower. Clients report healing from deep fears and physical stuff after these sessions. How? By digging into the roots of these issues in past lives. Like if you're scared of water, maybe you drowned in a past life. Knowing this can zap the fear. In a nutshell, QHT isn't just a past life vacation. It's a therapy adventure that taps into the wisdom of your higher self. It's like getting a backstage pass to your own soul, leading to healing, understanding, and feeling super connected to the whole universe. Section 3. The Role of Karma and Life Contracts in the Afterlife All right, let's get real about what happens after we kick the bucket. According to Dolores Cannon, it's like a backstage pass to the laws of karma and soul contracts. Forget the vague concepts. These are the forces shaping our lives on Earth and beyond. First up, karma, it's not just a word thrown around. It's like a cause and effect system for our souls. Everything we do, think or feel creates this karmic trail. To good stuff and you grow. Screw up and you might face challenges to learn and balance things out. It's a spiritual journey, GPS. And then there are soul contracts. Blueprints for our lives we sketch out before diving into the earthly scene. Each life, with its drama and relationships, is part of our spiritual growth plan. So those big life moments. They're in the script we wrote before the show began. Now, in the afterlife, we reflect on our time on Earth through this karmic and contract lens. Life reviews, as Canon's folks described, show how well we stuck to the script. It's like a cosmic movie night, reviewing the choices we made and the impact on others. Understanding karma and soul contracts isn't just about afterlife entertainment. It's like having a manual for life where each experience, challenge, and connection has a deeper meaning. It's a roadmap guiding the soul's journey, making sure we keep growing and learning. Section 4. Understanding Death Let's unpack Dolores Cannon's take on the one thing we can't escape, death. She flips the script, seeing death not as the end, but as a major change, a transition to something beyond our wildest guesses. For Cannon, Death isn't this dark, scary exit. It's more like a caterpillar turning into a butterfly. It's a natural process, a step where our soul sheds its physical shell, like upgrading to a new level of existence in the cosmic game. Cannon's insights challenge why death freaks us out. She says our fear of the big D comes from not really getting our own existence. We're stuck on the physical part, missing the main mode that our souls are on an epic, eternal journey. Death, in her view, isn't a dead end. It's a launch pad for the next phase of our consciousness. So, death, according to Canon, isn't this grim funnel. It's a shift, a door opening to a new adventure. This perspective shakes up the fear and gives us a comforting thought. Our essence keeps on trucking beyond our physical ride. Section 5. The Journey After Death now let's explore what goes down right after we shuffle off this mortal coil, thanks to Dolores Cannon's insights. It's like taking the first steps into a new realm beyond the physical world. According to Cannon, the moment of death is more liberating than scary. It's like shedding all the baggage of the physical body, leaving the soul feeling light and free. This newfound freedom is the soul realizing it's done with the physical world and is on to the next big thing. As the soul takes its leap, it lands in what's called the astral plane. Forget what you know about physics. This is a non-physical realm with different vibes and consciousness levels. It's not just one place. It's like a spectrum where souls hang out based on their vibes. In this astral plane, the soul wakes up to its transition. It's like waking from a long dream where the rules of the physical world fade and the soul gets what its existence is really about. All the earthly stuff, attachments, ego, and worries, starts to fade away. The soul, now free from earthly ties, gets a glimpse of its true self and the interconnectedness of everything. It's not a loss, it's a release, setting the soul free to exist in a state of pure consciousness. This awakening, as Cannon tells it, is a chill process. 
with the soul guided by its own understanding and the vibes of the astral realm. Section 6. The Afterlife in the Astral Plane Canon goes all out, describing different layers of the astral plane, like different levels, in a cosmic game. First up, the lower astral. It's like a realm where souls dealing with negativity or messy lives get a reset. It's not eternal punishment. It's a place for transformation and healing. Moving on up, there's the middle astral. Think of it as the heavenly vacation spot. Golden light, peaceful waters, and all the fields. Here, souls reunite with loved ones, soaking in the love and healing old wounds. And then the upper astral. It's like the Ivy League of spiritual learning. Halls of cosmic wisdom where souls prep for their next earth gig or higher existence. In this top-tier realm, the soul isn't just learning. It's in sync with the universe, expanding into higher levels of awareness. So, the astral plane isn't just a waiting room post-death. It's a dynamic space of growth, healing, and enlightenment. Each level is a step in the soul's journey back to the source of everything. It's like a never-ending school trip where you learn, heal, and evolve forever. As we contemplate the wisdom imparted by Dolores Cannon's teachings, Let's see our individual lives as integral chapters in this unfolding story, each chapter brimming with experiences and relationships that mold our spiritual journey. Embrace every moment, whether bait in joy or fraught with challenges, as a meaningful stride in your soul's evolution. Acknowledge that every life is a distinctive narrative in the grand tapestry of existence, and your journey constitutes a vital, irreplaceable segment of this cosmic tale. For further insights and guidance on your spiritual journey, don't forget to check the link in the description for my free book and details about one-on-one -on -one consultations. Your story is unique, and I'm here to help you navigate its intricate chapters. Until we delve into the next chapter together, may your journey be filled with profound experiences and transformative revelations. See you in the next video.